Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. This is the eighth day of August, 2024. I pray that you all are doing well so far. This morning, I would like to do a short post. And my short post this morning is on, on the unrest. The, 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 what should I say? Color war? <laughs> um, uh, the mayhem going on in the UK. Over one wicked person that spread a news about somebody, an immigrant, killing, I think, three little girls. And now people are saying they're afraid. It is terrible. It is just terrible to think that one nation think they owns the world. The devil is a liar and the father of lies. God give us this earth to enjoy. All of us came from two people, only two, Adam and Eve. There was nobody else, no monkey, no ape, no scientist, nobody to create another human being. So we all are related. Whether we want to know it or not, suck it up. We all are related one way or another. And somebody spread a lie saying that an immigrant man killed those little girls and starts a war, a race war, which is so uncalled for and unnecessary that somebody would be so wicked, wake up one morning and just think, okay, how can I destroy these people? All right. And then Satan said, look, just do this, 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 and it's going to spread like wildfire. And that person did just what the devil put in him or she to do. And now it's causing problem, big problem for people. What make we so wicked? That's wickedness. That's wickedness and God don't love it. And these are the reason why the anger and the wrath of God has poured out upon this earth. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon because every minute of the hour, every second you see it, the Bible is fulfilling. Wars and rumors of wars. All these people turning against each other. Look in the scriptures. Look in the scriptures, it's there. These are all some of the end times things that's going to happen. That's why I said, stock up on what you're going to want to eat, what you're going to want to put on. When they start doing some crazy mess, like letting out gas, like going around killing people, you know you don't have to leave your house, you don't have to leave your car, you don't have to leave the shelter, you don't have to leave nowhere where you're sitting or, or where you're laying at. Because evil has been let loose on this earth. People are wicked. You see this car that I drive? It's a 2013 Cadillac XTS. See, like I sit now right here, some person will drive up, see me with this car, and before you know it, one or two police come and sit down right next to me, thinking I'm gonna run or I'm gonna do something foolish. I don't give them eye contact, I don't say nothing, because I know this is mine. And they'll stay there, stay there, stay there until they just drive off. Because they see that this woman not acting no way. This woman look like she won the car. So I want to call with her. It happens. People are hateful. People are hateful. Even sometimes you see people and they smile in your face when you walk in the bank or, or you walk into a store and they smile in your face. After you say goodbye, just turn around and look at their face. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just turn around and look. Happen at the library as well. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's true. People are hateful. And the enemy has been loosed on this war that's going on. Ethnic war that's going on. The, the enemy is loosed on this earth. And he'll use one little thing. He just wants one little thing 
This lady, this lady on, years ago that I met on my job, she would say, you know, you open even a crock to Satan and go put on some grease and slide through the crock. Yeah, as long as you open that door, you're going to be right there. Boom. Anyways, I have a scripture to read before I go. It's Ephesians 4, 31 and 32. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you with all malice. Be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ Jesus forgave us. A lot of people don't even read the scripture, they don't even know that. The day is coming when there'll be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. I know some people laughing at me right now, saying, oh, every time this idiot come out, but trust me, one day you will see for yourself. And you know the, the, the painful, most painful part of it? A lot of Christians, people who think they're Christians, is going to be left out. Because Jesus said it. He said, many are going to come saying, Lord, Lord, haven't we done this for you? Haven't we did this? For you, but and he's gonna say, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never know you. Do you see how some Christian dress these days? I was shocked the other day, I was watching a video and I see people doing the praise dancing in church in a short dress. <laughs> anyway, if we don't think that we are worldly. We are doing the worldly things, pleasing the devil instead of God. We are going to hell. And, and people can say whatever they want to say. Yes, we are going to go to hell. Because we can't go in heaven. Nothing like that is going to enter into heaven anyway. I said what I have to say already this morning. I don't want to say anything else. Um, God bless you all. I love you all. My followers, you all are, you are so awesome. Thank God for you. And um, let us repent. Let us repent. Time is at hand. And a lot of stuff is going to happen. And we don't know when we're going to die. Because sometimes we Christians are people who want to live the right life. Get caught up in the mess because we're in the wrong place at the wrong time. But we have to repent to make sure that no matter what happens going to be counted at the end of the day when there is roll call because there will be a roll call the book will be open and another book will be open and only those whose name is written in the lamb's book of life are gonna enter in so anyway my friends i love you all god bless you god bless you i love you peace out and have a wonderful day to you